What's so spectacularly fun about Super Mega Lucky Box? Well, I'll let you know in this rundown and review. All right, setup is super easy. All you need to do is pass every player five of the Lucky Box cards, and they will select three of them to keep. I have already pre-selected mine, and I also have my scoring sheet handy. This is gonna keep track of all four rounds and then help you total your score. So it's pretty easy right here. The very first round, if you complete a card, you get 15 points per card you complete. It's pretty hard to complete a card in the first round, but it's possible because you will draw nine numbers, and those nine numbers might actually be all the numbers on one of your cards, or you might be able to modify it because you've got lightning. So second round, every time you finish a card, you get 12 points. Third round, 10, and fourth round, eight. So completing cards gives you victory points, and of course it depreciates as the game goes on because it's easier to finish cards after the first round. Each round, you also keep track of your stars. Now, if you complete a row or a column that has a star underneath it or to the side of it, you mark it off and then you mark that current round's star as progress. You can get up to three stars per round for a total of nine points. That's essentially three points per star, but if you just get one, it's one point. If you get two stars, it's four points, two points each, right? You see that math? It's really, really good when you get all three of them. Every single round you can get up to three stars for nine points each. The other thing is that you get these lightning bolts and lightning bolts let you move a number that's on the card up or down. And you can do lightning bolts as many as you want. So if you reveal a card three and you want it to be a one, pay two lightning bolts, make it a one. The other thing here you're gonna see is the moon symbol. And moons just work like um, pudding in Sushi Go. The player who has the most moons at the end of the game, after four rounds, gets six points. And the player who has the fewest moons loses six points. So you want to be in the middle or on the top, but you don't want to be on the bottom. It is a 12 point gap between you and the player who had the highest moons. So every single round, what we'll do is we'll shuffle up the cards and we will only play nine. So I like to shuffle them all up. There are two of each number in here. So two ones, two twos, two threes, etc. And I like to just do essentially all nine of them here like this. And I put the stack that we're not gonna play with over here because you don't want to keep drawing and forget how many you drew. So I've got all of our cards right here for the entire round and we're going to draw and then everyone's just gonna mark like bingo. One of the numbers that shows, that's it. You get some more bonuses here. I talked about the moons and I talked about the lightning bolts. You'll collect them once you complete a row or a column. And then if you get a question mark, that means you can mark off any number on any of your other boards. You also can get numbers like I have four, three, two, one. It can be any of the nine numbers. Once you complete a card, you set it to the side and you don't get a new card until the end of the round. So at the end of round one, you get a card. Well, you get to pick from a handful. Then you get to pick one again after round two, after round three, and that's it. So you do get to bring more cards into your play area, um, but not in the middle of a round. Let's flip the card. You ready? The card is six. So now I'm going to look at my board and I'm going to say, well, I've got one, two, three, six options. Um, uh, let's go for this guy. I'm going to mark that six right there. Boom. It's getting me progress towards my star and progress towards a question mark. Fantastic. Next thing. I got the number one. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna keep marking the same board. I'm gonna mark that one. I can hopefully get that column and get a star bonus. Here I go. Five is my next number. I have a five. I'm gonna mark right there. This is looking pretty strong for me. Here I go. Four. Holy moly, I did it. Okay, so this is how you can actually get a card done in the very first round if you get those number bonuses. So I got an entire row. I'm gonna mark off this question mark and I'm going to pick any number here that I think I want to just mark off. So 
Yeah, let's do, let's do this one up in the corner because the likelihood that both the ones show up in here, mm, I don't know, it seems like kind of a lot to ask for. But then again, I have a lot of twos and threes left, so we'll see. All right, so I've got five cards left because we have four cards drawn. Next card, three. This is looking really good for me. I think I'm gonna mark through that three, get that star, and I'm gonna mark off this little star. I'm gonna hopefully get, oh boy, I'm probably not gonna get another star because I haven't been going for four, five, eight. Hmm, we'll see. Hopefully, you wanna kinda of bank your stars together. All right, nine is the next number. Nine, let's see here. I can do, let's do this one. Maybe I can get another question mark. I'm gonna start a new card. You can start as many cards as you want because they're all yours. Eight is the next number. I'm gonna just keep going here. Maybe I'll get that seven and get a question mark and I can actually get uh, across here. I can maybe do it. Nine, yikes, nine. I don't know about this. Okay, let me see here. I can mark this nine here and get a moon progress. I like that, I'm gonna do it. That's really good. Lastly, last card of the game, it is a four. All right, so I'm gonna put that up there. I've got four, let's see here. I only have, oh, I have two fours. I'm gonna put my four, let's go right here in the corner. All right, that is the end of the round. I drew the nine cards, I marked my spots, I got my bonuses, and so now we're gonna add up the points for the round. So I didn't complete any cards, so I'm just gonna put a zero right there, and I got one point, so I'm gonna circle that, and now we are moving on to round two. Now, I don't wanna forget, every player starts with lightning. Now, I didn't wanna use my lightning in the very first round because I was getting numbers that I could place, and I was making really great progress. You wanna use your lightning to modify the number if you're really in a pinch and you're trying to get something super cool. So I'll just put my lightning over here so we can keep track of it, um, but that's available to every player at the start of the game with your cards. Each player is gonna draw three cards and keep one. So I'm gonna look at my cards and I'm gonna say, I got a lot of, I need some middle, middle numbers. What do I have here? So I've got these three cards. It looks like a bunch of high, a bunch of, high. It looks like I got choices for high, but it gives me some options for low numbers and middle numbers. So maybe I should take, ooh, this has a lot of moons on it. I think I'm going to take that one for some more moons. So I'm just going to scoot these guys down and I'm going to add this card to my display. So I have got all my cards out there. I discard these guys and the round is going to begin after we shuffle together all the numbered cards again. So take the deck that you didn't use, add the ones you did use, give them a good thorough shuffle, and then round two is gonna start. Hopefully I can do better in round two. I think I was just getting my engine started, right? All right, so here we go. I've got those three, three, and three. There's my nine, and here we go. First card. Three. Ooh, I like that three so much. I want to finish this card super bad. I have two twos away, so let's see. Seven. What do I think? Oh, look at this. I have a nine, seven, eight. I get a question mark of my choice. I'm going to make it a two, and then I'm going to get a question mark of my choice and make it a two. So that means I get two more lightnings, and I finish this card. That was pretty cool. So there's my two lightnings. I'm going to finish this card. I'm just gonna set it up here for now and then I'll bring it back in uh, whenever I score it. So that card is done, but I still have all these opportunities. I'm gonna flip the next card. One. One is okay for me. I have a couple one options. I'm actually going to just do that because I need to finish more cards. I can get 12 points per card. So easy, I love it. Six. Where's my six? Ooh, I have two sixes. Let's make it this so I can finish that three. I love it. There's my mark. I'm good to go. I'm super happy with these. Two, this is the fifth card. I'm loving this two up here because I can get closer to finishing it. I don't need to modify anything. I have a lot of moon options, but not too many star options. I think I need to get some of those moons because I want to not be the player in you know last place with the moons. 
Seven. I'm so happy, because guess what? Just got the moon. Boom. Got the moon, take it from the tray, add it to my player area, and now I'm one number away from getting a four and getting a lightning bolt. Oh, two numbers, sorry, and then the moon and a lightning bolt. This is a really good card. I really want to finish this. Two. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to change that two to a three. I'm going to use a lightning bolt, and I'm going to mark this off. Guess what? Get that lightning bolt back. Boom. And I get a moon. Loving this, right? Oh, so good. And I'm one number away from getting the card and a lightning bolt and a four. What is it going to be? It's an eight. I don't like that. That is not, um... Oh, wait, an eight! I do want an eight! Oh my gosh, that's like exactly what I needed. <laughs> okay, so I do that. Get me that lightning. Boom. And I get the four, which I put down here. Aha! I do have one four. My next card, I need to get some of those low numbers, because or middle numbers, because I am running dry. All right. I'm going to put that card up here in my finished area. And we have... One card left, so exciting. It's a five. I am going to mark this five, which gives me the three and ends the round. So here's how it works. I got two cards that I finished. So I'm going to put them over in my finished area and I'm gonna say 12 times two. So I'm gonna put two here. I didn't get any stars, so I'm just gonna mark through that because I just wanna keep track of it. So right now I've got 24 points and we're just gonna start the next round as usual. Draw three, keep one, and then shuffle up these number cards. Thanks for joining my run through of Super Mega Lucky Box. This game is fast and fun, easy to take out of the box, easy to take care of. I love the dry erase nature of it. Everything you just erase, but these cards are really nice. They're bright, they're easy to read. The iconography is there. There's not too much going on. There's just enough to give you some strategy and just enough luck to kind of get that excitement, get get your blood kind of, you know, pumping a little bit. Uh, you know, there's always that wonderful moment where everyone's waiting for that last card of the round and you're like, give me a two, I need a two. And everyone's shouting for a different number because not everybody needs the same number. So with one to six players, 20 minutes to play, that's what's making Super Mega Lucky Box so hot right now. So if you can, nab a copy and share it with your friends or play it solo. Yes, I love it.